Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to day 6 on PHP for beginners. Till now we have learned some basic syntax of PHP, how to print on a screen or how to echo anything. And we also covered how to create variables and uh, how to make PHP understand the difference between a variable and a string or if you are writing only an integer. So today is the time we will go ahead and we will learn more about if and else statements. So let me explain to you guys what if and else statements uh, exactly are and what they do. If and else statements are nothing more than whatever we do in our daily life. Let me give you an example out here. Uh, let's say my, me and my friend, we both are here, okay? And uh, I'm going to say, if you will give me two chocolates, then I'm going to go ahead and do your work, else do it yourself. So I use an if statement with if I have a condition that if you will give me two chocolates so the two chocolates are the actual condition and uh, then I have an else statement okay if you're not giving me the two chocolates that means that condition is not true I will go ahead and I'm not gonna do your work do it yourself so let's go ahead and uh, create it in PHP so I'll open the same folder we are in and I'm gonna name it to day 6 as always and I'll open this file called index.php with my favorite text editor. I'll take everything off and we will start creating a variable. Then we will write our if and else statement. So our very first variable is going to be a chocolate. So I'm going to say dollar chocolate. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. And it would be equal to two. So this particular variable will hold the amount of the chocolates I'm going to get from my friend. Okay. Then a very simple way to write a if statement. I'm going to say if, then these parentheses, then two curly brackets. So let me explain to you guys what exactly it is. If is our statement, then inside these parentheses we are going to put our condition that condition would be if the chocolate uh, chocolate is equals to equals to two then do something else do something else so let's create an else statement with uh, some curly braces so once again if then our condition and if our condition is true guys whenever I'm gonna uh, append only one equal to sign that would be I'm assigning the value and whenever I'm using two equal to sign that means I'm checking the value so over here I assign the value with one equals to and over here I'm actually uh, checking the value whether it is equal or not then I'm going to echo I will do your work okay just a normal echo statement with these uh, commas and our semicolons else echo do it by yourself okay very simple guys nothing too fancy just throwing a if statement with a condition then echoing out what we want to echo else we are going to echo something else so I'm gonna go to Mozilla I'll open the folder that is day 6 and it will open my index.php file and it says I will do your work because uh, I demanded for two chocolates the person gave me two that means I'm, I'm really happy and the condition is true out here so I'm going to echo I will do your work let's say he said okay I'm not gonna give you two let's be okay with one and my response is come on dude do it by yourself I'm not interested with only one chocolate so guys, this is very simple if and else statement. Let's say if he's ready to give me three. And here it says, do it yourself. Oh, I don't think that exactly right because I am only asking for two and the person is ready to give me three. That means I'm getting more than what I, I exactly want. So I don't think I should say a no out here. I should say yes. So what we can do out here is I can say if chocolate is greater than or equal to two so if the person is giving me two or if the person is giving me three four or five then i'm going to do their work if it's less than two that would be uh, one zero or minus one or if they want to take from 
take one from me, then I'm gonna say, okay, do it, do it by yourself. So back here, it says, I do, I will do your work. Let's test it, make it to 10. It says, I will do your work. I have no problems. I only need two. If you wanna give me 10, I'm very, very happy with that. So guys, this is only very basic if and else statement, but these are the most important part of the PHP. With if and else, you can create very, very complex functions. So don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys but we're going to move really slowly. So till that time, goodbye.